and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some four color elementals to finish out our standard 2020 stream tonight. Um, if you want to see any of these decks, uh, we also played some, a bunch of good ones uh, last week also for this standard 2020 format. There's the playlist on the YouTube channel if you're watching later on over there. You can find those other decks also. Um, so far, I really liked the Chandra Tribal that we played last week. Esper Hero felt really good that we played earlier today. But now let's go with four color elementals. The the greediest of decks here. It's our mana base is tough. That's the first thing. So basically we're splashing we're splashing black for your rock, because your rock is such a really cool card. Um, you know, it gives us that that lifelink that can be really important. Um, but then you know all of our abilities triggering an additional time. Just a really cool card. So we're splashing black for your rock. We have the one Neoform and the two Vanifars. They can go find your rock as well. Um, from our deck so we don't always have to cast it but you know we got some black sources in here we have seven black sources that can cast your rock of course we have the risen reefs that help us hit a lot of land drops and churn through the deck to look for more lands so we have those as well but yeah our mana base is really greedy as you see we have five temples two basics and then 20 18 no 18 then 18 Shocklands. That's gonna hurt. That's what I'm I'm worried about. We have um, 18 Shocklands, but I think it's kind of the way to go to try to fit in all four of these colors. You know, we don't get unclaimed territory, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get hurt by our mana base. Hopefully, Healer of the Glade helps out. We got three of these in here, gain some life. Hopefully, those help out. Hopefully, like Krasis, life gain helps out the Uruk and everything. Um, I got a, a Domri's Ambush in here. This is kind of a suggestion by... Uh, we played Teamer Elementals yesterday, and in the YouTube comments, I don't remember exactly who it was, but but if you were, if you were watching this later, somebody in the YouTube comments said in their Teamer Elemental deck, they really like Domri's Ambush as their removal spell. And I thought that was pretty interesting to pair up with, like, Thunderkin Awakener. You know, if we ambush the Thunderkin Awakener, make it a 2-3, then we can start bringing back Healer of the Glade. Also... Pretty interesting. We'll give that a try. It gives us something to hit Planeswalkers with also. I'm going to get one of those in here. But yeah, let's give us a try. See how painful this mana base is. <laughs> yeah, we're going to die to our own lands. All right, so we're going ranked standard 2020. Best of one. Lots of aggro decks, of course, and best of one. So that's probably not great for our really painful mana base. Carnage says, I've been playing Rakdos Aggro here. Goblin Banneret is performing way above expectation. Slightly worse than Knight of the Ebon Legion, but still very good. I like that card. Always liked Goblin Banneret. Liked that in Boros Ment Mentor decks before. <clears throat> I'm going to just not shock here. I'm going to not pay two life to gain three life. It's not like having that one, two in play is that important anyway. Scampering Scorger. Oh, wait, we have blue mana? I guess I didn't pay. For some reason, I thought I didn't have blue mana. I couldn't play Risen Reef. I should have played Risen Reef. <laughs> All right, I should have played Risen Reef. E All right, that thing's scary. Darn. They figured it out, the correct one to block. I could have just sent in Scampering Scorcher, but... All 
right, so we got three. So we get the double trigger with the healer of the glade, gain six. I know I need more lands, but we got the Risen Reef and stuff. I think we can find more lands. <laughs> Are we winning? I can't tell. Well, Chandra Spitfire is pretty crazy. It can do some some crazy stuff. But yeah, I think we're I think we're winning. Yeah, and so we get to gain four life with the Yurok deal and the damage there. <clears throat> Yurok with Domri's Ambush is pretty cool because, you know, Yurok does have Death Touch. Behold! Bleh. Bleh. And we had like so much cool stuff we could still do, but I was like, well, I guess I should just not be too mean and just um, have the Omnath triggers kill them. All right, so that looked really impressive. That looked really good. Our mana worked perfectly and everything. We'll see if we get to do that again. <laughs> that was dumb. I love it. Yeah, I guess just smacking them. I guess that does seem kind of mean too, though. All right. What do we got here? More red. I don't like seeing these red decks. shock so much. I think it's worth it to to take the two here so we don't just take the damage from the Scourge Spitters. We have the blocker. So much shocking. Ugh. Next turn I can Reef plus Healer of the Glade by paying another two life. Then the next turn, Scourger plus Healer of the Glade. Won't lie. I'm they don't they don't have removal for this Risen Reef. Oh, this is so gonna get cute. out of hand. Yeah, we could have we could have killed both the creatures and attacked for lethal that, that previous turn. Or that previous game. Any lands? Nope. Healer of the Glades sure helping out. A one mana trigger for Risen Reef is really nice too.
<laughs> aggressive shocks against a red deck always make me smile. Yeah, we we just went turn one shock, turn two shock, turn three shock. It'd be nice to have an, an extra six life, but that's the price of uh, for our four mana deck. Oh, cool, Diesel. Happy to hear that. Like, Kucho here is a real good dude. Nice. Happy to hear. So if we can keep our creatures alive, Leafkin will add two, which will help out with, like, Omnath. Oh, no, got to do the Spear Spearer first. Oh, they already did Spear Spearer. Never mind, never mind. Okay, they're good, they're good. All right, good. I saw the untapped Spear Spearer, but they, are, they already had the other one tapped. I missed that one. Okay. All right. Um, so I cannot Scourger plus Omnath. So which one of those two do we want to do? Probably want to uh, Omnath. Yeah. This we can kill Chandra, and then I can help grow Risen Reef to try to get out of shock range. Like that's that's the thing that I want to do is grow Risen Reef out of shock range. Yeah, so that's that's the plan. Awakener, Healer, and Omnath. No, I think I think it's Omnath. We're, I'm going Omnath first, so that these can like trigger and hit lands, and then and lands can grow the Risen Reef. I would do the most damage if I played these first, but I don't need the most damage. You know, if I do five or do seven to them, it's not that big of a difference, and I think I just want to kill Chandra, and so there's no difference in doing five or doing seven. Chandra's at two. Good. Got to land. Grow that thing. I don't know. I can do better than you. Look for your rock. Drop is good. Land drops just draw a card also. And we need more cards to play more things. Kucha might have had Disconnection problems here. I know that's happened to me before. Uh, like, <clears throat> just was it like Friday? We were playing Sultai Arcbo, and we had like a bunch of like really good turns, and like um, we're way ahead. But then my opponent ripped Golos that activated and hit Nexus, and then and then I. Uh, activated hit nexus again and just um you know took the rest of the turns in the game basically and you know like when it looked like we were about to win and right at that point my compute my computer uh it uh whatever it it does it it shut down um 
that crashed. That's that's the thing. It, it crashed. And so my opponent probably thought that I was rage quitting also. Cool. My opponent okay, so my opponent said that they're on bad internet right now and they're not a roper. Yeah. Yep, that's that's what I was expecting. Hopefully they get back in it. But the game looks pretty well in hand for me here. Yeah, it's too bad with the internet problems. It happens with Arena for sure. But looks like we were going to win that anyway. Our, our hand was just incredible. We were really lucky drawing all three of our Healer of the Glades. They were awesome. All right, 2 0. Four color elemental starting off strong. Fantastic. No. So no blue mana means it's probably a mulligan. This isn't spectacular either. We could get a lot better if. Okay, that works. I say if we find a Risen Reef and Neo forms a Risen Reef. All right, so it looks like we're playing against Gates. So, I mean, we got to watch out for Gates of Blaze next turn, but there's not really anything to do about it, to be honest. I mean, I guess I grow Omnath. Because then they need... They need to be able to have... They have to have a fifth Gate plus Gates of Blaze to kill Omnath here. Darn. Darn. There's never been a Gates deck in the history of the world that hasn't had Gates ablaze. So we knew they had that. Um, can I get my Chandra back? I wish I would have put Coil away and kept Chandra. Yeah, honestly, if we would have just kept Chandra instead of Coil, this would be a pretty easy Chandra play here. But I guess I play these. I mean, they still have six cards. I don't think I'm winning this. We need... We need to draw, like, Risen Reef or Chandra.
Okay. Now if we draw a land, we get to... As long as Omna if we untap with Omnath, and if we draw a land, then we get to... Uh, draw a new card. That's a good one. As far as cards go, that's a really good one. Doing this attack so they can't just, or like putting that last counter on the Leaf Kin Druid. Just to get that extra point of damage in there. Wow, no Gates of Blaze there. Which I guess maybe we should. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, well, we're kind of doing it. We're kind of doing it. Man, each one of those, like play a land, you get two, you draw two cards and put two counters on stuff. Man, that is crazy. Dude, elementals are so good. They're busted. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely insane. That was crazy. And then, yeah, because we we're, we're going to have two more triggers there. Uh. We're playing against our arch nemesis value con here who had the three perfect spells to beat us last time. Oh yeah. I bet, I bet playing this in paper is a nightmare. I bet. So yeah, it looks like they're still playing Esper control. Love to draw a Risen Reef. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is a, a Watsi employee. Last time they needed Elder Spell, then then Kaya's Wrath, then Command the Dread Horde to defeat me. They needed all he needed all three of those. And of course it just had all of those. You know, in this best of one game. Yeah, the deck list the deck list should be on the right hand side. Uh if you're on PC. Also uh, exclamation point deck, that gets you the deck list as well. Yep, and of course we draw another Yurok, another Yurok that's legendary. Sure, that's reasonable. Triple Thought Erasure, that's reasonable. Why not?
Can I just can I opt to never play against a Watsi employee ever again? Is that something I can do? Because this was sure a fun experience. Hey, we'll have three thought erasures and then wrath your board. Aren't you having fun? Do you like? Don't you want to play more Magic: The Gathering? I see. Join my cause. I would really like to draw like a two drop here after this, like the Risen Reef hit like a two drop, though we sack the two drop and grab another Risen Reef. That would be really nice. Not quite a two-drop. <laughs> <My army. laughs> oh my gosh. That's e like that's just better than Kai's Wrath. Just what's what's the best possible card to have? We are the In the future. format? Oh, it's Liliana? That's that's what we got. We got Liliana. Unreal. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Oh, well, this was unpleasant. A burning desire to finish you. Keeping the land in hand because if we draw Omnath, it'll be the eighth eighth land, and then draw another spell. I don't know. The opponent's looking at our graveyard. I think they have command the dread horde. Yay, what fun. Wish that was an option. Never play against a Watsi employee. Two of my least favorite games I've ever played, right there. All right, let's uh, kind of refocus. Yeah, there's the one. Yeah, it's just a one loss out. So they're yep, they're trying to get you to have those one losses so you don't get that XP. So you have to. So you have to spend gems to earn levels. No, I have not played a Jeskai Walkers in the 2020 format. The mastery level ends uh, at whenever the new set enters, so on the 26th. Yeah, I definitely think there's a way Dragon God is playable after rotation, absolutely. Uh, probably more like your, your Grixis 
mid-range slash Grixis aggro kind of deck. Um, you know, like your like thinking of like Knight of the Ebon Legion, uh, the Royal Scions, that that new Planeswalker, Dreadhorde Butcher, that kind of stuff. With like Dragon God as like the top end. It all it's all if the mana works. Like that's that's the biggest question. There's definitely the cards to make it work. Does the mana work? Risk Factor with Spitfire is really nice. That's really nice. I was scared of Steamkin and Lava Coiled Steamkin. Instant, instantly punished by that with the Chandra Spitfire the next turn. I, I don't know if Jund, Jund midrange with four mana Vivian is possible. I don't, I don't know. I, again, that's similar similar kind of thing to the Dragon God. I, I don't know if... Um, well, I mean, it, it certainly is possible if you, like, it depends on, like, what else you want to play. If you want to play heavy red, black, I'm not sure. Like, if you're really heavy green and just splashing red and black, then, yeah, that that will be possible, definitely. Hey, Korean. I'm not sure. Like, if you would have asked me at this time, last time, I would have said that, M, you know, like, M20 didn't look like a, a huge game changer, but, you know, didn't realize that how good Field of the Dead was or really how good, like, all the elemental stuff was because a lot a lot of these elemental cards got, pre, got previewed, like, really late in the preview season. Like, for example, when we did our set review, I hadn't I hadn't seen Risen Reef before. And so, like... While we were going through the set review, I was saying how I'm not sure if like there's really an elemental tribal stuff. But then getting to the multicolor Risen Reef, I was like, whoa. I was like, if there's an elemental deck, it's definitely because of that card, because that card is crazy. So the question being is Is Eldra like is Eldraine worth pre-ordering or is it not a very powerful set? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. The three mana planeswalkers look really good. Really need to hit land drop somewhere.
we're going to need to rely on... Gosh, there's just no red mana here. We're gonna need to rely on all these Omnath triggers going upstairs. I don't think we're gonna be doing too much in combat. Are you kidding me? Where are the lands? It's unbelievable. I think I want to just keep all the elementals because of Omnath. I think we're not we're not really caring about combat. This is crazy. We're 25 land decks. There's 22, 22 more lands in here. We've gone through 17 cards. Finally. So what are they even getting back if I kill the Cavalier Thorns? I guess they're not really getting anything back. I guess I could just kill the two Cavalier Thorns. They're just getting like another Cavalier back. Maybe that's the better play here. We don't have to... Yeah, they get one Cavalier. Like We, we don't have to worry about like... like We get a lot of pressure taken off of us. That's fine. I, mean, I think there's a real good chance that we can just kill them next turn anyway, to be honest. Hitting that red land was really was really crucial off of Omnath. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, we get Thunderkin, Thunderkin, double Omnath trigger. I mean, we could Sh Chandra Minus, but we just don't need to because we just play Thunderkin, Thunderkin, Omnath. Just kills them upstairs. All right, four and two. That looked bad there for a little bit. Whenever we just, you know, play the your rock, we didn't hit lands, had to discard a couple of cards, but the next turn was very good for us. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, we're four one besides the Watsi match. All right, really good hand. 
Hello. Black mana, perfect. All right, so they're attacking for two, so we need to have three toughness. Leaf and Druid is the elemental for the job. I think that's important to get their Risen Reef off the off the battlefield. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe we should have got mine in play. I don't know of any uh, X cost creature rule changing there, Walker. I don't I don't I don't know of any rule that's changing with X cost creatures. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled. Or the sky is my domain. Yay. Yay. Yay, not a counter spell. I think Lava Coil is fine. I guess if they're playing, like. That's probably good just to have a Lava Coil. A disappointment. They just have a wolf. Really? <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. That's really not good. Darn. I guess I could have lava coiled first. I suppose. Uh, this matchup, I don't know if I'm a really that much of an underdog. It's it's basically mass manipulation. If they have mass manipulation, I lose. If they don't, I win. They've had mass manipulation, so I lose.
I, I wouldn't. I mean, I, I think that's just basically a, a coin flip, really. I had a, I had a couple of spells that I that it turned out with what my opponent had that I sequenced wrong. You know, I like I got the like the risen reef got countered and everything. Um, I think that if I I need to sequence differently, I need to play risen reef um, first before Omnath. But just how the card the cards just lined up really well for my opponent, and then they had the mass manipulations. I don't think I'm really an underdog, though. All right, I don't want to shock too much against the flying deck. Whether whether we have healer healer's glade on turn one or turn two doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe they're not much of a flying deck. I will not take two life to not do one damage to them on an attack. But yeah, last matchup, I didn't really think, I don't think I was necessarily favored. I think it was just real, it was just a very coin flippy. Yeah, I don't really like Cloud Concealer that much either. Um, you know, I have what like either one or two. I I don't really ever want to play more than two. I have two of them in here. See, so yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that card either. You sure one two? The being a one two wouldn't you wouldn't be able to get it back with Awakener. That certainly gives it some value there. Oh, okay. I didn't I didn't notice that. I didn't know they added old cards from MTG for the Momir event, so you, it's not just you always hit Zakama kind of thing. I didn't realize that. Do I wait with Scampering Scorger? Hmm. Honestly, not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. To be honest. Thought about like double coiling this warlord. It's not very efficient. So they have what, like Gristlebrand, Ulamog, all that kind of stuff? Gigantomancer? Does this thing have trample? No, no trample? Alright, that's good.
down, down, down. All right, Risen Reef's a good draw step. Is it ever a bad draw step? No. Scry, scry. Yeah. Give me that Neoform. Y'all ready to see a crazy turn? I'm not sure if y'all are ready. Are, are y'all ready for a crazy turn? I don't know if y'all are. All right, your mind's ready, but your body's not. All right, here we go. Let's bring back, let's get Thunderkin Awakener. Double trigger. More triggers. Sure, I'll just take a land. Honestly, I kind of need a red land, but whatever. It's good enough. We'll attack a Johnny, get back Scourger. So Scourger is going to make a lot of elementals. And they're all going to tri trigger Risen Reef twice. So that's why I was saying that we just want lands, because otherwise we'll have way too many cards in hand. There we go. Uh, sure. <laughs> Six more Risen Reef triggers. Am I supposed to complain that we're flooding out yet? Oh, that's a good card to have when you're flooding out. <laughs> Darn it, we need to not flood out so bad. Or sorry, we need to not draw so many spells. We need we need more lands. We have to discard three of these cards, and they're all just really good. All right, gain six. Hit some more lands. No. All right, so to discard three of these. Um, I guess Risen Reef, Scampering Scorcher, and another Risen Reef, I guess. We kind of have too many cards already. No, I really need that Yurok. All right, we're in trouble now. I really need that Yurok. Turn back while you still can. We are now officially in trouble. Yeah, I don't know about real in trouble. In trouble-ish. Your Aqua's going to be really good, though, with the Death Touch. You know, we're going to be able to ambush, kill the Warlord, and then coil the rest of the stuff. Okay. That's a, that's a good one. We're not in very much trouble anymore. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. Make some more room to fight in. It's indestructible until end of turn. That's rude.
taste. One that grows no sweeter. Okay. Um Vanifar. Because Domri's ambush can kill can kill planeswalkers. It works really well with your rock with the death touch also. And it works well with getting a oh, counter on Thunderkin nice. Awakener as well. So it just kind of does a lot of stuff for us. I had 23 cards. I'm kind of going to die. Am I, I going to get milled out? I guess that's what I'm worried about. All right, well, that thing has to die. I kind of want to lava coil my own Risen Reef. I'm, I'm considering doing that. There's just going to be so many cards we were going to be drawing there. And if we're doing this like every turn, like Awakener, the Scourger, and stuff like that. Uh, all right. That was a pretty sweet game. Thanks, Jam. Yeah, this is a fun deck to play. This is a cool one here. All right, good looking hand. Get that. Turn three, Risen Reef. Oh, that's awesome, Frisky Biscuits. I'm really glad you you had the, you found that. That's really cool. Thanks. Kill Risen Reef. Oh, they still didn't kill Risen Reef. We get a couple triggers before they Ritual of Soot and kill everything. But at least we got some triggers. One mana short for your rock and Awakener next turn. Assuming they like Ritual of Sight. Ooh, no Ritual. Well then. What's going on over here? Let's do this. No! Our plans were sabotaged. What a sinister opponent we have over there. Boo.
So if I... If I would have just gone Awakener... And then ambush the Masker Girl. And then attack with Awakener. They probably don't block Awakener. And then... Uh, they'd still have the Masker Girl. They'd be able to block the next turn. But we would have got the Risen Reef trigger. So we would have got one Risen Reef trigger by doing that. But the one Risen Reef trigger might have been like that eighth land, which I guess we, we know would have been the Leafkin, which actually would have drawn Leafkin, so then we would have been able to play Leafkin to get another Risen Reef trigger. All right, that's fine. Bleh. Ooh. That card's good. Kind of forgot about that card. We haven't been drawing it too much. So yes, I could trade Masker Girl and Omnath. What? Pay one tap, return target creature you control and each aura attached to it to their owner's hand. Okay. Activate only during your turn. Okay. If I play Cloudkin Seer and then we draw, we have to draw um, the one drop. Yeah, we'd have to draw the one drop to have lethal. I'm just going to play the Vanifar pass. I really don't really, I really don't need to play the Vanifar either, TBH, but. Oh, I guess I had the mana for two Omnaths, didn't I? I did have the mana for two Elmnaths, just to, which, no, that doesn't kill them, because each one only does w the one damage, yeah, because we only have the one elemental in play. So yeah, that, no, that wasn't lethal. Alright, six and three. Oh, that would make sense, they're playing Agent of Treachery and bouncing Agent of Treachery, that would make a lot of sense. Well, no, they'd both just be one damage because you you can only keep one Omnath in play, so they're they're just one damage still. You don't get like the Omnaths in play still. All right, let's play another league. The highest I've been ranked in arena. The thing is, I've to be honest, I've never tried to be. I've never done like real serious ranking, trying to get to number one. I've never I've never done that because I I still just you know do my my stream. I try to put out the best stream I can with you know different decks all the time but if I played like the same deck for multiple days in a row and stuff and tried to get to number one that'd be a different story but never done that uh with that being said the highest I've gotten was somewhere in either the high teens or low 20s you know somewhere in like the 17 to 24 range I don't remember exactly somewhere around there This is the highest that I've ever gotten. So 
So a couple of Temple of Mysteries. We'll see, maybe it's a Flash deck. Maybe it's also an Elemental deck. See what we got over here. Also an elemental deck. Overgrown tomb, what a draw step. Yep. Oh, thanks, Jam. Because your stream is awesome because you play so many different decks. There's a lot for viewers to learn with so many different interactions. Thanks, yeah, that's what I like like to do. I like to find the the underplayed stuff, give it some love. Yeah, so we're definitely coiling Risen Reef. Then I guess we just play another Risen Reef. Man, I kind of like to play Vanifar, but it's probably just to play another Risen Reef. I don't think I need to coil the Leafkin Druid. We may find a two-drop like Awakener. There we go, that we could play. So now we have too many cards, of course, so we just want to hit lands. Hopefully it's saying like reveal lands. There we go. Scry for a land. You're not a land. Get out of here. Uh, you're a land. You can stay. Uh, you are a land. What would I have? I have two more triggers. Let's have two more triggers. So now I got seven cards, so we're good now. Blech. Actually, I probably should keep the Cloudskin Seer and just draw it and just try to try to discard it. So then I can get it back with Awakener. Or, I mean, Omnath is kind of what we're looking for. Oh. Well then. That's probably going to find an Omnath, right? That's probably going to find an Omnath. Honestly, did I just mill myself out? Did I just mill myself out? I didn't really count. This, this might have been a horrible idea to play this. This might have been a horrible idea. I don't... Sure, whatever. We need All we need to do is draw an Omnath and leave an Omnath in the deck. We can't draw all four, but we need to draw one. Are you kidding me? We're not going to draw a single Omnath? Uh, I guess I should have scribed that thing to the bottom. Are you kidding me? Really? Do we draw it? So they're all in, all four in the bottom 12? All four of them are in the bottom 12? Yeah, I understand you think this is nice. I've gotten that. Uh... 
All right, well, we can shuffle up, look for another one. But so it, it shuffles it, so now they're all in the, the 16. How much damage am I doing anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I didn't even need to draw one. Never mind. This is the two of these is just lethal anyway. I don't even need to draw one. I thought I was thinking that I was gonna want to do that and then play a new one and do like another triggers. That was crazy though. <laughs> I was like panicking and I just had lethal, but wow, that was crazy. What was that turn for us? Was that our that was our turn six, I think? I think that was our turn six, maybe our turn five. We just draw our entire deck. I think that was our turn six. So no Risen Reef, no blue mana either. If they're aggro, this is a pretty good hand of like an O3 blocker, a healer, and a lava coil. A lot of people are playing aggro in best of one. I don't think we really need a, a Jace for the the safety net. Like the usually getting Omnath triggers. Yeah, this one drop has been really good for us, this healer of the glade. It has been very good for us. I don't need to like play it immediately. The attacking isn't that important. Uh, more flash deck. Yay. I found it kind of surprising that the flash deck's been the most popular deck. It's definitely the deck we've been playing against the most. Just today overall. I guess with this matchup, though, if I would have shocked in the healer of the Glade a long time ago. You know, we could have got another two, maybe three attacks in. Like, who knows? Could be the difference.
So you're having that extra two damage, <clears throat> two, maybe three damage. Could have been clutch. Krasis. Darn. I was like, remember? I was like, ooh, a card that I haven't seen in a long time. Hydroid Krasis. We don't have to worry about Krasis getting countered. Take to the sky, my friend. No, I don't think there's really any reason to play Incubation Incongruity. Do not challenge a raging river. Come on, Hydroid Crisis. I am humbled by the sky's divine. Looks pretty good for our opponent. Okay, okay. I was honestly expecting that to, to just get countered. So yeah, if I would have shocked in for Healer's Glade on turn one, could have had that extra two points of damage. So I, I didn't want to ca yeah. So if I cast healer for like basically if I cast healer and they counter healer, then I then I would have died. And so I was thinking I was thinking like that they had a counter spell, and so I wanted to play the Omnath to try to bait the counter spell first.
Darn. Well, I'm not. Th I'm not through a lot of cards. Mu Yanling got us though. Mu Yanling. Making some four power flyers. I kind of feel like I played Risen Reef too aggressively in that game and, and just kind of in, in those matchups. I, I did run Risen Reef like into counters, like into like the counters the one time. Maybe I could have held Risen Reef for later. I need you, Krasis. Need you to draw lots of cards and gain a lot of life, even if you get countered. Where are you at? All right, so our deck was pretty good. Um, we didn't really get to do Vanifar stuff, and honestly, it didn't really seem like we needed to do too much Vanifar stuff. I think I think maybe what I'd want to do, because honestly, Krasis is just kind of awesome. Maybe I still want Vanifar, but I think I just want one Vanifar and get a third Krasis. I think that's one little little change that I'd want to make here. There. Yeah, this is my own Spotify playlist, uh, which you can find by typing exclamation point playlist, just like that. Um, but yeah, this deck was was a lot of fun. And seven and four, it felt uh, you know, it felt felt really good. You know, we had some close losses there, and then we had some wins that were just completely ridiculous. Um, but, but yeah, it felt like, uh, you know, it was like a seven and four that felt like it could have been like a nine, a nine and two kind of thing. Um, so good feeling deck here Four color elementals. I liked it. Our mana actually wasn't really that bad. Healer of the Glade was amazing. Uh, the mana didn't really hurt us that much. I, I did play kind of slow at points of, of like, you know, getting the, the shock lands into play and everything and not shocking too much. But then other times we did just go like shock, shock, shock. Um, also, but, but cool. That's, that's a good, uh, seven and four there. So another good option. If you're playing the standard 2020, uh, leagues and trying to gain that XP, this, this was a good deck. I liked the Esper hero a lot. Um, then if we go back to last Monday, uh, I talked about model red cavalcade last Monday, but then also I love the Chandra tribal and I guess the the uh, Demir control. We have some people in chat doing really well with the Demir control. But there we go. That's four color elementals. So if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave some comments, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching some four color elementals with the standard 2020. Oh, also with your comments. Yeah, let me know what you're doing with the standard 2020s. Uh, let me know how you're liking this, um, these these uh, decks and everything, this format and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there we go. So thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, come say bye. Come here, say bye. There you go. Okay, says bye.